Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha and if this is your first time stopping by, please subscribe. So obviously the title is giving it away, but I'm going to Ghana in a few days. So I'm using this vlog to basically prep for everything. So I leave in six days. So I literally have, honestly I don't have that much to do because I'm switching things around because usually I get my hair, my nails, everything done here. But this time I'm doing it in Ghana because I just feel like it made more sense like financially just to do everything there and all of the stylists there that I was seeing on TikTok and Instagram are so talented so I was like you know in the US they charge like $300 for an install for no reason so pretty much my prep is just like getting my hand luggage getting my wax done um, also getting some new makeup and body products because I want to get some travel size things and I also want to use this trip to try some new makeup products because I have been using the same products forever so I'm probably gonna stop by Sephora today so yeah I'm gonna take you along this entire week we're gonna pack together I'm gonna organize with you and yeah we're basically gonna make this a smooth packing experience because packing gives me so much anxiety so I'm trying to make it as simple as possible but hopefully you enjoy this video and I cannot wait to be in Ghana like I hate it here so yeah but before I start doing my shopping today I wanted to do a workout class because I have been trying to get abs overnight even though that's not gonna happen but I've been trying to basically keep working out until the end of the year because once I get to Ghana I'm probably not gonna be working out as much so I have a bar class at 1 30 but I'm gonna go to Nordstrom for some event that they're having uh, for Valentino Beauty and see if I could get any goodies that I can maybe take on the trip with me and yeah it's gonna be pretty much just a day of a lot of activities mixed in with travel prep so hopefully you enjoy this but I didn't even have time to film my intro when I was inside so we're just doing it now I'm gonna grab coffee before I head downtown just because I did not even get to eat Workout and it was so tough, like literally panting for my life. But right now, we're gonna shower, get ready, and then we're gonna go get a wax. And then after that, we're just gonna pick up some more products from Sephora. But I feel like it's been a pretty productive day. Like, we got so many free products at different activations of the city, and then yeah, we're gonna get some more makeup stuff. So it's a good day. Lunch is big. We got hot honey chicken plates. No, this is like the best way Literally, too good, too good. So I'm back now and we have a lot of things to get through so I didn't even intend to be out as long as I was today but there was just so many free things happening throughout the city and that's honestly how it is during the holidays like there were just so many places giving away goodies so I figure on my trip coming up I'm just gonna take as many free things as I could because why not but of course I also picked up things that I'm gonna need on the trip mostly travel size things things that would just be easy to pack so I don't have to worry about carrying big products that take up space that could potentially break all over my stuff like I just learned my lesson with traveling long distances you should really pack as light as possible but the first thing we're gonna go through is Nordstrom which was honestly my favorite part of today like I wasn't even planning to go there and I ended up finding 
the best thing so yeah that's gonna be the first one we go through so the first thing that i got <laughs> i finally got call me basic you can honestly call me basic and it's okay there's certain exceptions for being basic like sometimes there's a reason everyone has something i think it's because it's actually that good like i love how this smells like it's so funny because the last time that i went to ghana that's in december i think it was 2021 when i tell you everyone everyone in the club smelled like this it was actually a joke between my cousins and i like we would literally just be like oh my gosh they have baccarat on they have baccarat on like it was everywhere but i'm not a hater like i think if everyone's wearing the same thing personally that doesn't bother me as much especially if it's something that smells good like this so it's been on my list for a long time but what made me buy it is that it came in a set this time so if you know the price of the regular size baccarat then you know like it's definitely not a cheap perfume it's very expensive so i found this three set which i'm actually going to open with you all right now but it has three things in it and it also was 15 percent off because of the holidays like it was just the best deal in my opinion and yeah it just made the most sense so i'm so excited because yeah this has been on my list for a minute so the reason i even went to the station for this was that i was looking for a travel size of their body oil so i have the tom ford one actually right here and it looks so beautiful on the skin like i just love how it shimmers but i wanted the baccarat one because obviously it has a shimmering oil to it but it also smells like the perfume so i just felt like it would be two in one you know having the oil looking really nice in the pictures but then i also smell really good whereas the tom ford one i don't feel like the smell like it has a very light fragrance more like powdery in a way whereas baccarat is a lot sweeter so that's kind of what i was going for so i went to the station and the worker there was like why don't you actually just get this set because it comes with the perfume the shimmering oil and it also comes with a hair oil or like a hairspray so you get three of those things all in this one set for way lower than you would get the regular perfume it just makes so much sense and like i said it was also on sale because they're having a sale for the holidays she's so fancy okay let's open it up I'm literally so happy because this has been on my list for a minute. Okay, so this first one is the perfume, I believe. So this is a pretty decent size. Like, even though it's travel size, this looks like it will have so many sprays in it. Like, come on, this is a lot. And it's not a rollerball. It's an actual spray bottle. So you can spray this as many times. I feel like this would take a while to run out personally, especially because this probably wouldn't be like my everyday perfume. It's more for going out at night. So I definitely think it's a fair size for the price that I paid. But the real star of the show that I really wanted was this body oil. Like, look at this beautiful shimmer. Like, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. I actually cannot wait to wear this. As you can see, this one is a lot warmer than this one. I still think this one is beautiful, and it's also really affordable. So this bottle that I got from Sephora was like $30, I think, which I bought this sometime in the summer and i still have so much and i actually use a lot of it so this is worth it if you're on a budget like i don't think you need this one but again i just wanted it more for the smell so i'm actually gonna see how it looks on the skin it smells so good it like it literally is the perfume but in an oil form which i think would even last longer than the actual perfume so you get that nice glow this is perfect for any summertime like when you have your shoulders out legs out just making sure that you're glistening in the pictures i love how body oil looks like i just think it completes the look and then the last thing in the set is this hair oil i think it's either a hair spray or a hair oil i'm not exactly sure so i'm gonna see okay so it's a spray so i think the worker was saying that this is also an oil so the other one is a shimmer oil and then this is just a dry oil so like the oil and the perfume it pretty much has the same exact scent but you could put it on your hair but i feel like you can also just put it on your clothes for all that like i don't know if it could go in your hair i just think it could go in your stuff so it feels like having almost two perfumes in one set so all of these pretty much smell the same so i think even using these together like you're really gonna have that projection like everyone's gonna smell you your clothes are gonna smell good it's gonna linger like it just made so much sense for vacation and the size of it is just perfect like it's not too small but it's also small enough that it could fit in my carry-on so i'm just so hype about this like i'm actually glad that i ended up waiting and not buying the full-size perfume because i just think this makes so much more sense so nordstrom is having this big beauty event throughout all of the store for the weekend so each counter has its own goodie bags that you get when you spend a certain amount so they gave me this big ziploc bag like look at all of these samples and it's crazy because i was literally talking about this the other day i was saying how i didn't want to take any of my full-size perfumes with me to ghana because i'm just worried about things breaking in my bag like i've had bad experiences with sometimes things breaking for long trips like that especially because tsa has no respect like they will literally throw your things anyhow so yeah i just wanted to be careful with not taking any expensive perfume so when they gave me this bag i was just like come on like this was meant to be like look how many perfumes are in here like it's just so many and it's also perfumes that i use already so i can just take the travel size version of it 
So I got the Valentino Born in Roma. I love how this smells, like literally so good. I have face creams in here. So I have Kiehl's in here, La Mer. <laughs> like things I could definitely take on the plane with me, which is nice. They gave me this Estee Lauder mini cream, which is really cute. Let's see. I think it's an eye cream. And it's a pretty good size too for a travel. Like I feel like this is pretty good for a sample size. They gave me this Diptyque perfume. I think it's Dosan, which I have heard of this one, but I haven't smelled it. So let's see. Like, look at the size of this. This is the size of a full travel size, not even a sample size. And they gave this to me with my purchase. Like, this is just such a good day. Like, it's definitely a bit powdery. Like, not something I would usually gravitate towards, but they gave me Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Like, just so many perfumes. Like, this is actually crazy. I'm not even done right now. <laughs> More perfumes. We have Victor and Rolf. And we have Angel by Mugler. And lastly, like, this is just crazy. They gave me so many products. They also gave me two mascaras. So this one is the Dior Mascara, which is basically, at this point, a full size. Like, this isn't even a sample size at this point. Like... Come on. Like, this is pretty much a regular size. This is a Dior Show Maximizer 3D. And then they also gave me a YSL mascara. Like, this one is the Lash Clash, which is pretty much a full size too. Like, everything is just... Like, wow, what a good day. Like, I got all these products with that one purchase I made. And again, that purchase was also on sale. Like, it was just... It was a good day today. So, that is everything I got from Nordstrom. Finally can move on to the other stuff. Wait, I actually have another sample. So I have the full size of the Delina exclusive. And like I said, I'm scared to take any full size products. So I went to the counter and I was just honest with them. Like, hey, I'm traveling in a few days and I already bought this perfume, but I don't want to take the full size. Like, could I possibly get a sample? She just took one of these bottles and sprayed as much of it as she could until it filled up, which was so nice of her because she didn't even have to do that. And yeah, that just made my life so much easier because I really, really wanted to take this scent on vacation, but I also didn't want to risk it breaking in my stuff. So the fact that I can keep it in this little travel size bottle like I'm so happy so I don't really have red lipstick which I feel like every girl should have a good reliable red lipstick in her collection but it's just something that I always say I'm gonna get and yeah I just never get so in Nordstrom they had a little Mac section so I decided to get a mini Ruby Woo because everyone knows that's the OG red lipstick especially for dark skin like it just works so beautifully focus yeah like it's just so pretty especially with a nice dark liner it's so pigmented it lasts long and then I also got MAC Chestnut, which I never had this lip liner before, even though everyone and their moms has this lip liner. They've been using it for years. I personally just never had it. So it's their most popular chocolate brown lip liner. So I thought I would see what the hype is. And I tried it on my hand in the store, and it's very dark, which I love that because a lot of dark brown lip liners are not dark. Like, they don't show up on dark skin. They're meant to be dark brown for people of lighter complexions but this one I tried it on and it was like very pigmented on my skin so I'm really excited to pair with the Ruby Woo because I feel like that combo is just gonna be like beautiful okay quick product break because I got a lot of free stuff like I said today so Delta Sky Miles was having an event in the city for a Sky Miles member so I do have the MX card and it was also right next to my gym so there was no way I was missing it because they were giving away complimentary things and gift bags which every gift bag was randomized so it was so cute in there I think I vlogged like a few clips of it but it was so cozy they had this whole like Christmas setup they were giving away hot chocolate cookies the Biscoff cookies they literally had that there and of course I had to take one but again they had these gift bags that they choose at random which I thought my bag was actually cute like I really like the things that they gave me so the first one is this atlas book so yeah it has like a bunch of different facts in there so I think this would be so cute but my gift bag actually had a gift card in it which I found out that not every bag had that so I was super excited for that so Delta gave me a gift card I think it's like $50 <laughs> so it's not much we can basically use it on any of the days you're traveling so the fact that I'm traveling in a few days it was just meant to be okay moving on to Sephora so they didn't have every single product that I was looking for but I pretty much got most of the stuff so I'm just gonna go back later this week to see if another location could have everything so the first First thing we all know my obsession with this concealer so I have my skin tone version of this so I wanted to get a highlighting version just to like basically brighten up so I got a few shades lighter than me like I didn't go too bright because I don't want to look ghostly when I use it but this concealer like that is all I have on right now and when I tell you people were literally stopping me in my tracks today like on more than one occasion to compliment my skin and I swear it's this concealer like anytime I wear this concealer the world stops like it is so good i need everyone to go buy it and it's so affordable too and i'm back with another danessa myrick so last time i said that i was gonna go back and get an orange version of this blush so this is their yummy skin blurring balm blush and again i have that on right now too i have the mauve color of it and it's just like it's so good she has the most beautiful complexion products like they truly make your skin look like i don't even know how to explain it i just think they're so worth it everything is so pigmented 
the quality is great like i'm just so excited so i got the blush in the shade uh golden hour so it's an orange color because i wanted something that felt more summery so it says deep coral orange which i just think will look so pretty on dark skin like i'm so excited to try this i think i'm gonna wait till i'm actually on vacation to try it so it could be like a full-on surprise but i already know it's gonna look good on me because orange typically complements my skin tone so yeah, I'm really excited. Like, I just love new makeup. Like, there's just something about new makeup that excites me. I just got some body products. So this is the Bomb Dia spray and the lotion. So I've been using the salted caramel version for the gym, for going to sleep. Like, I just use it a lot. So I wanted something a little bit different. I typically like to take new scents with me on vacation because it kind of reminds me of that place whenever I leave it. So I actually had used this specific scents when I was in Ghana last time so anytime I use this now I think of Ghana so I definitely wanted to buy it again this just smells so good in the warm weather like I don't know how to explain it it has vanilla woods and black amber plum but something about it is very summery like anytime you wear this in the summertime it just gives tropical so definitely wanted to re-up on this and then I got the lotion version of it too and then I just got the pharmacy green clean because I don't like to use makeup wipes I'm definitely a cleansing balm cleansing oil kind of girl especially because I have eczema and it helps not dry my skin out and then i also re-upped on my fenty beauty uh gloss balm so i have the heat version and hot chocolate and this is like the only lip product that i truly use like this thing just gets me compliments all the time it lasts a long time it plumps your lips up like it is such a good product so i'm almost running out and i wanted to make sure that i had enough for vacation and i didn't run out while i was there so that's pretty much everything I got from Sephora. So I also bought a new book because I like to read books when I'm traveling. Especially because whenever you think of this book, you also think of the place you went to. And it's also good for when there's no Wi-Fi, no connection. Maybe you're tired of listening to music. You're on the flight. Maybe you're on the beach. I just love passing time by reading because you literally get lost in the book and you even forget where you are. So I decided to read this because it was saved in my books to read TikTok folder. So I figured I might as well try something new. So... This is Seven Days in June by Tia Williams, and the reviews for this are so good. I've only heard good things about this book, so I'm actually so excited. It is a romance book, but I think there's some hints of tragedy in there too, I'm not sure, but definitely seems like a book that's gonna make me cry, which I need that. And the last thing, I feel like this was a bit of a long haul, but this is actually a gift from my best friend. So I told her that I wanted a digital camera, so she actually got me one before my Ghana trip, which... She's like the best human ever, like actually so kind for no reason. So she got me a digital camera and I have been wanting a digital camera for so long. Like I just love the aesthetic of it. I love how it makes your pictures look so much better than iPhone. I just feel like iPhone pictures have a certain limit or the camera has a certain limit. There's just certain things, especially at nighttime, that it really can't capture well. So I wanted a camera like this because it just looks a lot clearer and yeah, I'm just so happy to have this so i'm gonna test it out for the next few days just to make sure that i know how to use it before my trip but you will definitely be seeing me take pictures on this like i'm actually so excited for the content that i can take with this like i i can't wait but that is everything i got today which i feel like i actually got a lot a little bit of free stuff some goodies also things on my list so it was definitely a successful shopping day so i'm gonna go shower and get ready for bed but tomorrow is gonna be packing day because yeah, I just need to get my life together, and I don't even have a hand luggage, so that's probably going to be the first thing I do in the morning. So yeah, we're going to be organizing tomorrow, like, making sure all the outfits are set. Like, it's going to be a busy day, so I'm going to get my rest now, and yeah, I will see you all in the morning. Hi, everyone. It's literally, like, 2 in the morning right now, and I have no business even being awake, let alone filming, but I need to show you the kind of things I do at night when I can't sleep. Like, I literally start to brainstorm, so... I don't know if you remember from my Europe trip, but I had planned out my outfits like literally almost like I'm a Sims character. And that just made my life so much easier when I was traveling because I didn't have to think when I woke up. Like I just knew what I was going to wear. I knew down to the shoes and the bags and even sometimes the jewelry. Like it was just so simple. So because that worked out so well for me on my last trip, I figured I would maybe try it for this trip. I feel like Ghana is a bit different though because Europe, I kind of had an itinerary of what I was doing every day. Whereas Ghana is like any day could be whatever like you just kind of have to have outfits ready to go but I still wanted to at least put things together based on what I do have so when an event does come up I can just pick from any of those outfits like whatever makes the most sense so we're about to do this together probably not the whole thing but I just want to show you like what my thought process is so maybe when you're planning vacations like I'm telling you this is so worth it it's kind of tedious but if you're like me and you're a planner and you like to make your life easier I'm telling you this is actually gonna be so much fun okay so I just made a powerpoint Desi December outfits really simple so the first one that I have is this red outfit from Meshki and it's already a set which makes life a lot easier so I pretty much just like it goes together but I don't really know what shoes to wear with it 
I'm thinking of wearing white strappy kitten heels with it because I just feel like that would go really well with this whole summery kind of vibe that it gives. I don't know if it's the red and the sparkles, but this definitely just looks like summer night out for me. So my first thought is to pair with this bag. I don't know if it would really match though. I feel like because it's red, maybe gold would look better with this. Like this is why I like to do this because putting it next to each other sometimes, that's when you can kind of figure out if it'll work. So I'm not too sure if this will work. So I also have a white bag. I'm still not sure if this would work with it either. So I'm just like, mm, I don't know. So I actually think gold complements this a lot better than the other colors. So maybe I can do gold accessories like gold earrings. But for now, we're just going to keep it like this. And then the earrings that I probably would pair it with are these earrings that I have here. And don't these gold seashell earrings from Mango go so perfectly with this bag? Like, I think this right here is definitely an outfit. This just looks... Like, such a summer vibe. Okay, I have this pink beaded dress that I got from the Retro Fet sample sale. So if you watched my vlog from a couple of weeks ago, you probably saw this. But I think I want to do a white look with it. Whenever I think of pink, I think of white accessories for some reason. Like, I just think they complement each other really well. So I could see myself using this bag. The model uses a pink bag, but I definitely think white could work. So we also have this white rose dress that you probably saw in my try-on haul. So I think... For this, I could do silver accessories. Because it's all white, I could literally go anyhow. So I can do this bag. But I think the beads would be too clashy with the rose. Like, I don't know. I feel like it would be too many things going on. So I'm thinking if I were to do this and make sure that I have full-on silver accessories, that could probably work. So just making sure that my accessories are all silver so it could match. But I think this could definitely work. Like, putting it together right now, like, I see... The vision like do you see the vision because i do so now we have this white crochet dress from meshki and i already have a vision for this dress so crochet already just gives me beach vibes so we're definitely going with the whole seashell look with this dress and then obviously we're going to use the earrings too because it will match the bag perfectly and then i think i'm just going to do white strappy sandals with this so this outfit is pretty good to go so i have this black tube maxi dress so this i think with maybe these shoes right here i could definitely see that working and i'll probably use this sparkly bag here and make sure that all my accessories are silver so i'll make sure my earrings are silver any hair accessories yeah i think this again is simple outfit so we're just going to keep it like this and then we're going to make my other all black outfit so i have this black halter dress right here which honestly i'm probably going to keep the same accessories for this as the other black dress because again black and silver in my opinion go really well and i made sure to buy heels that were not high because i'm not good at walking in heels and the ghana roads will get your ankles if you're not careful so i made sure that i had shoes that could go with everything but were also comfortable because a lot of ghana venues also won't allow you to wear sandals or slippers into like an event or a club so also keep that in mind if you are going like make sure you have a cute pair of heels that you can walk in so these are going to be my casual outfits so just outfits that i could throw on especially for going to lunch, visiting family, whatever it is, just something I could always throw on and will still look cute. So I want outfits that are comfortable, especially for the super hot weather in Ghana. So I'm probably going to take this t-shirt with me from Jacquemus that I got in London this year. I've been on a denim skirt wave all year and I really don't even plan on getting off this wave. I just think there's so many ways to style them and they're super comfortable, especially the ones with the slit because you can wear it in the winter and put maybe tights on with it or you could wear in the summertime and just wear some sandals with it this yellow orange green like it definitely balances it out so i could see this outfit working and i probably would pair with maybe some gold slippers or sandals that i have or i could also pair it with these chloe sandals that i have so i think these would definitely work and then i also actually have this stod bag so I definitely think these could work. I also have a Jacquemus bag that's similar to this orange color here. But I'm also trying to carry as little as possible. So I want to take bags that make sense with more outfits and not just taking things that only make sense with one specific outfit because that's how you end up overpacking. So I also have this denim dress that I got from Revolve and I instantly just knew that this would be such a good daytime dress just for doing anything like shopping, going to brunch. Like it just looked like such a versatile outfit. But I felt like the dress on its own was a little too plain. So I wanted to make sure that I have accessories that go with it. So... I have this Jacquemus bucket hat, which I think would actually look really cute with this kind of dress. Like, do you see the vision? Like, I don't know. This is how my brain works. Like, I just put things together and hope that it makes sense. And so far, it mostly makes sense. But I definitely think this hat complements the denim. And the way the material of the hat is, it does feel like a denim material. So it'll definitely complement the dress well, in my opinion. So I could wear it like this, and I could honestly even wear these shoes. Because these shoes would match the hat really well. And then I could also just pair it with this same stod bag. Um, because it's white so it'll match the hat it'll match the shoes 
So yeah, I definitely think this outfit is cute. Like, I don't know where I'm going to wear this outfit. I was thinking about maybe wearing it to some kind of festival or something daytime that we're outside because this just looks comfortable, but it will definitely look cute in pictures. So I'm going to keep working on this as I pack just to make sure that I'm packing everything that I need and I'm not forgetting anything. But I just wanted to show you a few outfits so you can see what my thought process is. But I'm telling you, planning your outfits ahead of time really makes a huge difference when you're traveling because you don't even have to think. Like, anytime you're about to go out, it's like, oh, we're going out to an all-white party. You open this little slide up and you can have everything down to the earrings you're wearing. You can have the bag ready. Like, everything is prepared for you. And of course, it could be a bit time-consuming, but I think it's fun because it makes me feel like a Sims character. So it's like me literally, like, putting an outfit together for myself visually so yeah this helps me a lot when I'm planning but yeah I'm gonna go to bed now because it is literally like almost 3 a.m and I have a busy day of packing tomorrow so I'm gonna see you all in the morning but hopefully you enjoyed this little put outfits together with me hello everyone it's the next morning right now so I'm going to TJ Maxx because I need a hand luggage and today is pretty much my organization slash packing day I obviously can't do all of that if I don't actually have things to pack in so I'm also gonna get some extra stuff from like the beauty supply from Target so any toiletries but for the most part things like when we get to Ghana things are already there because we're going to our family so there's a lot of things I don't have to worry about but there's still things that I think I'll just rather have for myself so I made a list so that's gonna hopefully make it super easy to get everything cozy outfit of the day we have daily paper sweater these gray pants from Aerie I think yeah, airy. And then I'm probably just going to wear Crocs and a leather jacket. She's going to Ghana tomorrow, so we all got prepped today. <laughs> so almost everyone in my family is going, but we're all going different days, which just makes it even more chaotic because like everyone is just having their own struggles right, right now. It's but like yesterday was my mom's struggle. Tomorrow's <laughs> my struggle. The day two after that is, it is Fatima's struggle, and then it's my struggle. And it's <laughs> my friend. Like it <laughs> the, doesn't end. <laughs> the airport trips, like oh yeah. my gosh. Oh my god, we need to calculate the amount of toll and like easy pass sponsor us facts literally <laughs> because we got a lot of airport trips this week like literally back to back because we all booked our tickets separately so everyone got different flights basically but yeah so right now i'm going to tj maxx but i stopped at grounds again jalil what did you get what would you get from grounds strawberry sauce yep Just gonna run through the things that I got so I did get a hand luggage which I wanted to get a cream color one originally because I have a suitcase that matches that a bit but I didn't really like the options that they had and I felt like for a carry-on I wanted something neutral so as long as it was something that wouldn't you know be too bright or would look weird whenever I'm traveling like even this outfit that I have on right now obviously this goes with it so I felt like it was fine it's just a carry-on as long as it's good quality which it is and it's a good size. I didn't really care. So yeah, I got this from TJ Maxx. And then I also got a couple of packing organizer things from there too. So I love to travel with packing cubes because it just makes packing so much easier. And it keeps you so organized. So I love them because I can organize things in certain cubes. So I can put like underwear bras, pajamas in one cube. I can put sandals or swimsuits or something like that in another cube. So whenever I am unpacking, everything is just so easy to find and I don't just have a bunch of things stuffed in my suitcase. So I also got this makeup organizer because the one that I have is a bit busted so I didn't want to travel with that. And this one definitely looks like it can fit everything. Like it's a pretty decent size so I can put all of my foundation, blushes, basically yeah just the whole thing and I'm probably gonna put it in my carry-on. I feel like most makeup is under the fluid ounce um, requirement for a TSA so I feel like everything should be able to go into my hand luggage. I'm so happy because I found a travel set of the Cosarex like pretty much all the products that I use so I didn't want to travel with my full size products because I just find it so annoying either having to transfer it to a smaller size or carrying all your big skincare products so this has everything that I need in it so it has a face wash in it it has the moisturizer it has a toner and it has a snow mucin which I just ran out of the full size one of this and I didn't want to buy another full size take with me so this was so perfect and I think it was $16.99 so I have all of the products that I'm gonna need for the trip in this one little pack 
I also wanted to travel with a smaller um, eyeshadow palette because the one that I have is pretty big and it doesn't have the colors that I need. So it's pretty much an essential palette. So it's going to have my brown for the dark creases and it also has these brown tones if I'm going for more of a sunset heat look. And then it also has these greens because I do have a couple of green outfits in my um, wardrobe. So I think this palette will honestly be enough to take. I don't honestly see myself needing more colors than this. So quickly running through what I got from Target, I actually ended up buying more things than I thought I was going to need. Actually, I'm going to sit down. <laughs> so quick Target haul too. So I bought a bunch of essentials there. So they have really good underwear. Like this is off topic, but Target has great underwear. I also bought a bunch of makeup products from e.l.f. So yesterday I went to Sephora, of course, but I also love going to the Target makeup section. And e.l.f. is also such a good brand. It's super affordable. Like I found so many cute things there. So I went to Sephora yesterday and I wanted to get the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and they didn't have the shade that I wanted. So I was actually going to go back to another Sephora this week, but then I saw that e.l.f. has their own. So it looks pretty dark. It's in the shade Espresso and it definitely looks dark enough for me. So I have no issues with that. I also wanted to get a liquid eyeshadow. So again, I have an outfit that's green and I find that I don't have a lot of green palettes or green in my palette. So I got this liquid green shadow, which I think will be so pretty, especially at night in pictures. Like it's going to glisten really nicely. And then it'll go really well with the uh, matte green colors from this Morphe palette. This I'm really excited about. So this is obviously a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury uh, contour stick, but yeah, it looks exactly like it. I got the darkest shade of it, so I'm going to assume that it could work. So this is how it looks. So as you can see, it definitely will show up on my skin. I'm actually just going to... Yeah. Oh, and it blends so easily, too. This is going to be so nice for, like, cream contour days. I also got this really light-colored gloss from e.l.f. So I've been seeing this lip ombre look that a lot of dark skin girls do on TikTok. So they'll line their lips really dark, and then they'll put a dark color around, and then in the center, they put a really light color. And it looks so beautiful, especially when they put flash on. So I just knew I needed to try this. So this is obviously too light, I think, for like my whole entire lip, but just putting it in the center to bring some kind of dimension to my lip looks because I'm very simple when it comes to lip looks. I'm like lip liner, gloss, and I keep it pushing. And then lastly, I just got some brushes from e.l.f. because they're always reliable, cheap. I think some of these were like two, three dollars. Hi, everyone. So I'm about to start packing right now. So I'm literally going through some of the outfits that I created yesterday. So what I'll do is I'll put things in piles based on the outfit. So I'll put like the top, the shoes, the bag, like I'll put them all together. So that way when I'm packing, I'm literally packing one pile at a time. So it makes it move a lot quicker. So I ordered a carry-on bag. I'm going to show you. I got it from Amazon. But it came with these shoe dust bags, which I think is so useful. So I put all of my sandals in here. So first outfit is Meshki. So I have this here. The shoes are already in this bag. So I'm going to just kind of have it off to the side. And then the seashell purse is in this box right here. So I'm just going to put it on top of this. more expensive i'm gonna wait until i start packing my carry-on so like my shakma's bag these called gaia heels i also have my chloe sandals like things like that i'm probably just gonna put my carry-on to be safe because you never know bags get lost stolen whatever so i'm gonna try to be safe so i pretty much have almost everything laid out i have a few more packages coming i think in the next day or two so if anything i'll just add them on to whatever i didn't finish but i think it's in a good place to at least start packing away so even down to the accessories like i basically just have everything together to make life a lot easier remember that I have this organizer that I bought last year for another trip so this is so useful because you can hang it up so I would put it on the bathroom door or even on a closet door it's just so useful because you can see all of your products so I like to use this more for toiletries so I'm probably gonna put like mouthwash um, face cleanser anything like that in here and it folds really compact so it can fit in your bag without taking up a lot of space I got this carry-on bag from Amazon so it's a base dupe Shea Mitchell's brand and I honestly just wanted something that was simple that could carry my laptops 
my chargers nothing too fancy that I had to break the bank for so what really sold me about this is that it easily goes onto your hand luggage so you can just strap it right on and it doesn't fall off it's not gonna move that's just gonna help my shoulders so much because I don't have to carry anything especially because my laptops are gonna be heavy it's like having a second carry-on especially for the things that I don't want to have to go in the overhead bin to take out like I can just put it in here as you can see it's very spacious inside and then it also has pockets on the side that I could use for my passport any essentials that I want easy access to it also has this big zipper here so you can also put like your passport or anything important in there and what I didn't even realize until I got here is that it has a USB port inside the actual bag so you can basically charge your phone on the go like that is just so smart and it also has side pockets back pockets and it even has an under compartment so you can unzip the bottom and store things on the bottom too so this I think was like 20 something dollars which I think for a bag with this many compartments like this is something that is so useful even for the gym like just anything even a work bag and it also came with this pouch here and the shoe bags that you saw me packing earlier so that all came with this so anything that I'm putting in here is typically things that I'm using up until even the day of so chargers my passport would definitely go in here at least the night before because that's just my biggest fear like get into the airport and your passport is not even in your bag I'll be packing on any of my carry-on toiletries so like mouthwash wipes like anything I'm gonna need hand sanitizer all of that's gonna go in this bag and of course the best part I could just secure right on top of the bag so as you can see it's not moving nothing is gonna fall off it's secure like this is such a smart idea so I'm gonna continue packing and then I think I'm gonna come on later in the week when I'm doing my final final packing so packing my carry-on all that stuff and yeah just anything that I do to get ready for the trip throughout the week so I will see you all later this week and good night Hi everyone, it is officially trip day. I'm about to head out right now in like the next 10 minutes to go to the airport. I have not really been on today because it's just been chaotic. It's been so crazy trying to get everything together, running last minute errands for my family, for the things they want me to bring to Ghana. You know how it is if you go to Ghana, you basically need to make sure everyone is set. So it's a lot and I was also working today. So it was a crazy day, but I'm finally done. I'm all packed, everything is good. Let me show you. So I have my two carry-ons. This one honestly looks really full only because I have like three laptops in here. So there's a lot going on in here, but it's not a lot of stuff. It's really just, yeah, like that's the reason this looks kind of heavy. And then I have my regular suitcase here. I also have this suitcase cover that I'm about to put on now because my mom is all about not scratching suitcases. And I already packed my ring light, so sorry if this is not good lighting. So I'm wearing my go-to airport fit. I think I bought this like, yeah, I bought this last year and I've worn it on multiple trips at this point. It is just so useful for traveling. So this is from Airy. And then I'm gonna wear perfume. I also don't have any makeup on because this is a nighttime flight. So I didn't really want the hassle of having to wash my makeup off. Because anytime I leave a flight, I swear I break out. Like the dry air, the like everything in the air just makes my skin freak out. So. The last thing I wanted to do was add makeup to the mix, so yeah. But we're using perfume right now, so this is Delina. I know this is going to last me the whole flight, so just putting it on now. And I'm going to start taking all of my suitcases upstairs so I can head to the airport in the next 10 minutes, but I will see you all at the airport. Hopefully it's all smooth. I feel like traveling anytime near Christmas is always a disaster because there's just so many people going different places, so wish me luck that I have a safe and smooth flight experience but yeah i will see you all at the airport